Okay, so you've uh, clicked the link to the assignment in Canvas and you're at this screen. The purpose of this video is to take you uh, into the code notebook environment. A, note a code notebook is like an interactive textbook. It'll be taking you through most of the course. We'll be using it for the very elementary code lessons that teach us just the basics, very bottom up. Uh, and it'll also be used for the code demos that are more top down that show us cool stuff in code that we don't necessarily understand. And it'll be used in the in the code generation assignments where you write some simple code from scratch based on things you learned in the lessons. So you're looking at the screen, what do you do? Um, you're going to type in your, uh, your, um, your same university uh, password and username um, and that's going to take you to this screen. Um, this will get bigger as you've made it further through the course but it starts out empty. Um, uh, then the first thing you're going to do is go to Assignments. You're actually going to spend uh, a lot of time in this tab, not the main Files tab. You're going to fetch the very first assignment, Module 1, Lesson 1. Um, and then when you, uh, and you're watching this video along with this first lesson. So I'm walking you through every little bit. Now that you've hit Fetch, this is now available to you. You can click this here, and you can access the lesson. When you click the lesson, um, you're going to be taken into the code notebook environment and at this point you're ready to start um, your first lesson and I've got a separate video for that. But let's dawdle a little bit more on this screen. So there's this validate button. Um, that uh, establishes basically sort of that there's no um, errors, that there's nothing broken about your notebook. So this definitely has to be green for you to get full credit when you submit your assignment. However, um, just because this is green doesn't mean that you didn't make any, doesn't mean you'll get full credit. So it means there's no errors, but it doesn't mean that your logic or that all your answers were correct. Uh, so this is, so green is necessary but not sufficient. You, you, maybe you'll never use it, but it's a nice little sanity check, uh, before you submit. To, once you've made it through lesson one and every other, uh, lesson and demo, um, uh, and you're satisfied that you've done everything inside the lesson, that you're done, um, you hit the submit button and uh, that's it. You're submitted. Um, this will communicate. Uh, um, sometime after you've submitted, uh, it'll synchronize with Canvas, you'll get your grade, and, you'll, uh, and you've made it. You've completed the whole loop of going from Canvas um, through this interface to the code notebook environment. Um, you've made it through that lesson and your demos or everything else for each module. Uh, you've submitted back at this screen and you're back in Canvas world. So that completes the loop. Um, uh, there's a lot of stuff on this screen. There's these other tabs. I'm not asking you to look at that stuff or understand it or stick with it. Um, uh, nothing about this is graded. It's just these are basic skills that get you to gradable. Um, and I want it to be uh, safe and easy. So uh, now you know everything you need to... Oh, you can also resubmit as many times as you want. Um, so if it's like an hour before deadline and you're not positive that you're going to be done at deadline but you're half done, submit like an hour before deadline your half done thing. At least you'll get partial credit. And then sure, if you finish five minutes before deadline or whatever and you can submit then, then you get full credit. But if you don't manage to finish completely 100% before deadline, at least you got partial credit. Um, yeah, this is the basic. Uh, this is the basic flow to get you from the Canvas assignment to your lesson. Uh, this is a flow you're going to get used to for every single code notebook you interact with, for all the parts of the class in every module. Um, so you're ready now to proceed on to the um, uh, content for. Lesson one of module one.